Hey guys, welcome to your 8th tutorial in Backbone.js. This is Victor, and I will congratulate you for making it this far into my tutorials. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make new HTML elements on the fly and add them to your HTML document. Let's get started. Backbone views have a bunch of properties that are optional. For example, tag name. Um, it also has class name. And I believe it also has an ID. Now, what tag name specifies is an HTML tag, such as div or span or paragraph or you get the idea. In our case, we want to make a span. Now, class name is what class we want to put into our span. For example, if we want to create something that looks like span class is equal to, I don't know, pretty cake. Who cares? Span. And actually, let's add an ID here too. ID is equal to, um, I don't know, span one. I'm not created at all right now. So if we want to recreate this HTML DOM object on the fly, we would need a tag name of span, a class name of pretty cake. So we put that here, comma, ID of span one, comma. Now that we have this, our backbone view will create an EL element on its own and it will also create its dollar, dollar sign EL counterpart. Now to prove that let's do the same thing as in the last tutorial. Let's log our hypothesis. So we do console.log this.el console.log this.el oh I screwed up a little bit here let me remove this and now let's see our browser and see what happens I refresh my page and there we go we have our span with ID of span1 and class pretty cake and actually they're both referencing an HTML object and oh yeah that's because we first need to create it, append it to our page, and then we can have it as an actual dollar sign EL object. So let's get that done. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not right. I forgot to put that dollar sign there, so I lied with what I just said. There we go. Now we have our HTML DOM object and our jQuery object. Cool. So now let's add our HTML object onto our existing page. Let's go back to our code. All we have to do in this case is with jQuery we grab our existing div which is unique unique and we do an append of this.el which is our HTML object. Cool. So now let's save this. Remove this because we we already know how it works. And let's test it. So now we refresh, we have our div unique, and now we see that our pretty cake span one is right here. Cool. So this concludes this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next one.